so I made a lot of friends and uh, during this time I noticed that there was a lot of creative people on this forum and someone started an art section and people started posting their artwork and their poetry and things like that and I thought oh you know this is great and uh, I'm actually from a graphic design background so you know I, I'm quite creative as well and you know I'd started doing my own artwork as a bit of a therapy to sort of get me through and um, and I thought oh I wonder I wonder if this could be collated as a book you know it would make a nice book it's a positive thing um, so I, I talked to a few people about it and they're like, oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. And then I sent Lee an email and he's like, yeah, great, go for it. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> so, um, so I think that might have been in 2006 and I can't really remember, but I think the whole project took about just under two years from where to go. Um, and yeah, by mid 2008, the middle of last year, Finally, I'd, I'd collected the work. I think there's about 42 artists who contributed to the book and had it printed and published. Um, I'd been to a publisher who, and they were very excited about it. They published art books. Um, unfortunately, it was going to cost about $40,000 to get it published through a publishing company. And I thought, well, okay, I don't have that money. I don't know anyone who has that money. So um, I thought, well, I'll just do it myself. So. Um, so yeah, I got them printed and set up the website with help from so many people. Um, it was just great that people pitched in and said, yes, I'll help you do that and I'll put time into to this project. Um, and, and yeah, since then I've sold, we've sold most of the books online. Um, they've gone all over the world. Um, and as the, the work is from all over the world in the book, there's work from the States, Europe, the UK, Australia, New Zealand. Um, so it's very diverse and I think it, it paints a picture of this illness. It's everywhere, you know, and everyone knows someone who has it or someone who's been affected by it. Um, but we've had a really good response to the book so far and um, I've done a radio interview in Melbourne and we've had some reviews in some CFS journals around the place. Um, so, so that's fantastic and um, while all this was happening I was sort of thinking, oh, It'd be really good because it's never enough for me. I've always got to do a bit more work. I thought oh, it'd be really good to have an exhibition. Um, and at the time I was mostly recovered, but I thought mm, it's probably still a little bit much work. And then I think I got a call from Kerry and she said, we were thinking <laughs> to have put an exhibition together. And I was like, oh, great. So yeah, that's how it all started. And, um, and so I've sort of worked a little bit with these guys, but um, They've done all the work for this art launch and Dan, wow, Dan has done an amazing job. So I like to thank Dan and Kerry and Mary and, um, and yeah, it's, it's great to see the artwork out there and it's fantastic that it's going to be travelling around and um, I just hope that it can spread a bit of awareness around and just give a bit of a positive light to this really, what is quite a dark illness. Um, and... I'd just like to say thanks to those who contributed, even though I don't think anyone's here, but um, there were so many people emailed me and said, you know, I'd like to be in it, and, or they'd submit their artwork and couldn't get their forms in. Or, and, yeah, I think we had about 60 people interested and in the end it was 42. So, I mean, even that in itself illustrates just, you know, people, they want to do things, but with such physical constraints um, on your health it's not always possible and you are really limited to what you can do sometimes. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to those who, who tried and missed out. Um, I'm really hoping to coordinate some more projects of this nature involving creativity and illness. So hopefully those that missed out on this one will be able to uh, jump on board for the next project. Um, but, yeah, just... I just want to get it out there that, you know, these people do stuff and they're not just sitting at home all day saying, well, couldn't be bothered going to work or couldn't be bothered doing this or that. Like, it's, it's a really tough uphill battle and um, I'm really pleased to say that, you know, these people can get their artwork out there and I'm happy to be able to help them do that. Um, being creative has given me a sense of purpose. Uh, since putting this book together, I've actually 
made the transition from graphic designer to artist. Um, I had my first solo exhibition in Melbourne open last week and um, I think it's been a big part of my recovery. It's been a big part of my journey towards health. So um, I think it's even more important to get this book out there and for, for people to have a little think about it and say, OK, well, yeah, I might get my pens out and start some drawing or I have ideas for some poetry. I can, you know, write something down because it's helped me so much and um, if this book can help others see that, then I think that's a good thing. So... Um, yeah, and just for the record, I'm about 95% better, so um, I hope it continues and I do everything I can to manage it and, and look after myself. Um, but yeah, I, I can say that being creative has played a big part in that, so um, it's good to be able to put that in a form and put it out there and let people know that that's something that's helped me.